Hey guys, how's it going? So, today I'm replacing the programmer switch on my uh, ESC, my Atomic ESC. Um, the original switch here um, broke down. Great, I got it stuck in there. Um, and I can't reprogram the ESC. Don't have a programmer's card and can't seem to borrow one off anybody. So, I thought, as long as it's a surface mount, I should be able to replace it, and hopefully it goes successful. So what I'm replacing it with is this guy here. Now this is all uh, weather-coated and, and everything. Now this uh, switch unit with the wire, it actually came off of an uh, airsoft laser. And uh, the laser dropped yesterday, and came unfunctional. So I thought, well, it's a micro switch. Need a micro switch. This is good quality. That's garbage. And uh, so we're going to attempt to uh, solder this in and hope for the best because if this doesn't work, then I'm going to have to wait until I can get the programmer card. Um, or uh, if I want to have good reverse until then, I'm going to have to swap out my ESC and maybe the uh, motor as well. So I have another set here, it's just not as, probably not as powerful, because this is an 80 amp uh, ESC with a 3300 kilovolt uh, atomic motor. Uh, it's a matched kit, but I also have another matched kit that uh, come out of a Red Cat racing machine, uh, but it's made by Hobby Wing, and if I have to use it, I will, but... I'd prefer not to because it's less amperage, so we're going to just attempt to solder this in place here. I'm going to make sure our wires are short enough too. That's the other thing because I don't want to run into anything. So I'm going to see if I can clip a little extra off here. And of course I'm going to have to be really careful, so I'm going to actually zip tie this to my harness somewhere after I find out if it works. So, a little bit of solder. Very important, pre-tin your wires before attempting this. Because this board is not going to tolerate a lot of heat at it. So, The other big thing is getting the right angle. Well, that's one. If I make a mistake, I'm going to find it real quick. Oh, crap. That's going to be a hard one to get to. A little bit of solder on the plastic here. show you doing this so you get an idea this thing would be a pain okay now I didn't show taking off this old one but it's pretty simple you need a solder sucker um, one of these I know I'm zoomed right in but you know I thought you guys might want some detail and uh, you got to very quickly heat it up with a fine tip pen soldering iron and suck it out quick, do the other side real quick 
and then you need a very fine plated um, jeweler screwdriver and go back to oh, I, I did it from the inside here and I just tight, gently wedged it under there and just a little bit of wiggle action while I had the iron on there for a second I popped the one side then I was able to get the other side off first time doing this on one of these things but uh, this little switch has uh, had the biscuits so alright so now all we gotta do is uh, we'll grab our radio and some batteries and uh, instructions and uh, see if we can get this thing into the programmer mode um, okay flashlight So to resolder a micro switch back onto the board was like, forget it. This stuff's done by robots, so, you know, at least I can get this far with it. So I'm going to just zoom out a little bit here. And I need my radio. Four batteries. this works, I am going to be so thrilled. Okay, so we have no power switch on this, by the way. Um, but just plug and go. Somebody else modified this before I got the car. But uh, first thing we're going to test to make sure that the stupid thing still works. So radio's on. Steering works. Reverse works. Brakes. Okay. So <clears throat> we know it all works. That's awesome. That away. So we didn't short anything out, so that's uh, challenge number one met. So now I've got my programming information. Just give me a minute here to go through it. Gotta find Okay, this is for programming reverse. So I need to hold the set key, wait for three seconds, hear a funky cool tune. Um, it means you're in program mode. Now, selectable items. I have to wait for 10 beeps I gotta count out. That's gonna be fun. Well, first let's see if we can get into the programmer mode first. If we can, then I will go back after and program this thing. So because there's no power switch on this, I gotta kinda just touch those there, hold in my button. Awesome. It works. Okay, so that's that's good progress guys that's like a freaking miracle right there that's that is super sweet so now I'm going to carefully route my cable because I don't want it ripping off the board I'm going to zip tie it where it's going to stay safe and then I think I'm going to take some hot glue and put it over top of these contacts to seal it in there solid so it'll put up with a lot of flex this way nothing can hit it when I'm driving and um, yeah, awesome. That gave me what I needed. Now I can program this bugger and get my reverse set up properly and probably even set my brakes up the way I want them and everything else. So cool. So uh, we'll definitely see you guys on the next video and uh, we will show you how everything works. Um, you've seen how the reverse worked already, but we'll show you again. This thing is so crappy at 25%. That's it. That's like nothing. I can barely back go backwards with the weight of this vehicle. My forward is great though. 
but I'm gonna set everything up and rock and roll. Awesome, thanks for watching, see you soon.